the next set of options that we want to talk about are under setup, tests and global options. Let's highlight tests and the list of tests that are currently loaded on your system will now appear on the screen. These are the tests, both user-defined and Stago-specific tests, that currently reside on your instrument. If you hit Escape, your options are to displace a test. This will allow you to move a test forward or back so that it can be displayed um, on your test status screen in a more convenient location. This should be set up uh, to aid you in putting the tests that you depend on most frequently to the front of the screen so that they'll be displayed while you're working on the main test panel screen. In order to displace a test, just highlight displace a test, select the test that you want to move, and what we'd like to do is take our prothrombin time, highlight it, and place it where we want the test to reside when we complete this trans this movement. And we're going to put PT at the very front of the list. So we highlighted it, press enter, move it to the desired location, and hit escape. And now that test will appear as the very first test on our test panel screen. You can do this with any of the tests. We can move the tests up or move them down the list so that they appear where it makes the most sense for your work application. You can also delete a test and up te update a test by simply selecting that feature and pressing enter. We don't encourage you to delete or update any tests without doing the proper validations before doing taking such action. You can now see after the system rebooted that our test panel now displays the prothrombin time as the first test. So this can be done as a user definable uh, on how you would like your test to appear on the test panel screen. We're going to go back to our test setup. And we're going to select the test. In this case we'll select our PTT. And this will identify how the test is set up and configured. This is a Stago defined test, and the name abbreviation as it appears on the test panel screen is set up here. And uh, also, uh, the full name could also be typed out in the next line down. This is a clock based test. Our sample size, incubation time, and dil um, dilution factor are listed. Our diluent used to perform the test is listed. The fact that it uses the products and the start reagent are listed along with the incubation time and volumes. Also used in our analysis is the min time. Any, fac any factor that any test that clots before 18 seconds will generate an error. Any test that exceeds 353 seconds will generate an error. The mean time for this particular test is 35 seconds, and we use that to calculate throughput on the instrument. The primary results on this test currently are identified in seconds, but they can be changed if you choose to do so by highlighting that particular field in the delete key, and that primary unit can be identified in multiple different ways. The correction factor for this particular product is set up for 0 0.850. This is the multiplication factor on the on the number of seconds it took to clot in order to reach uh, a, a, the correct variable for this particular test. This test can also be set up as a single or duplicate, and by hitting the delete key, we will toggle between those. And the precision for this particular test is at 8%. The test will automatically be validated if the result falls between 20 and 300 seconds. Since this is a Stago defined test, there are no calibration controls required in order to be validated. But the QC needs to be run, and in order to do that, we'll see that again the printout main units will be in seconds. We do want the results to print out 
and then depending on your LIS, you can set up the transmission number for that result to come across. To verify this calibration, you need to run the control material that's specified on page 3 of the QC screen. You can also create a new test, user-defined test, simply by taking your cursor and putting it down to a blank field and pressing enter. And you have a clean slate so that you can create a user-defined test at this point. The last feature on our menu today is the halt feature. The halt feature is the manufacturer's suggested way to shut the system down. This will protect the instrument and your data against any problems if you follow this recommendation. So just highlight halt, press enter. To stop the program, type in a Y for yes or no to exit, and that will safely shut the instrument down without causing in harm to your instrument or to your data. And that concludes this portion of the tutorial.